Deputy President Riga T. Gachagua has been advised to resign in order to preserve his political future, following a court decision that declined to halt the impeachment process against him. On Tuesday, October 15, High Court Judge Chacha Muida ruled against Gachagua's request for conservatory orders, allowing Parliament to proceed with the impeachment motion. This advice comes at a very critical moment when Gachagua is desperately trying to salvage himself from the wrath of angry senators through multiple filing of court cases. But the big question is will he really survive this political wave? The judge explained that while the court has the authority to intervene in cases of infringement, Parliament has the right to consider and determine the impeachment motion as a state organ. This decision leaves Gachagua vulnerable to the Senate, which will now conduct the trial. In response, prominent lawyer Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi urged Gachagua to step down before the Senate process begins. He argued that resigning now might provide Gachagua with a chance to salvage his political career. Abdullahi warned that if Gachagua waits until the impeachment process is in full swing, his resignation may come too late to stop the proceedings. Prior to this, Gachagua's legal team, led by lawyer Paul Mweet, had argued that the limited time for public participation made the impeachment process flawed. However, another judge, Dora Chepkwani, dismissed their request to halt the proceedings. As things stand, Gachagua's future is in the hands of the Senate, which will begin the trial on Wednesday. The process may take at least two days, but could extend if more time is needed to examine evidence and hear witnesses. If two-thirds of the Senate vote for his removal, Pichagua could become the first deputy president in Kenyan history to be impeached. Even if he challenges the decision in court, the damage to his career would likely already be done. Lastly in my own point of view I would like to note that in Kenya it is very hard for elected leaders including the deputy president to survive an impeachment motion that is politically instigated or where the parliament is controlled by the executive. Those are my submissions to the people of Kenya. Thanks for watching this video till to the end. Please don't forget to share, like and comment on this video so that it can reach many people. I am your guy Bravin Omandi. Let's meet in the next video.